In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a scrolling timeline error animation in Premiere Pro. So, let's get on with it. To get started in Premiere Pro, first I will create a text on the program monitor and start typing the ears from left to right. Once you finish typing the text, let's move to the Essential Graphics panel. Here we will increase the text size slightly and align it to the center of the program monitor. Then we will change its position by dragging it to the right until the first ear is in the middle of the screen. And this part is crucial if you want to create this animation. Afterwards, go to Effects, find the Gaussian Blur effect and drop it over the text layer. Then go to Opacity and create a rectangle mask which should look like that so it will only reveal the text in the middle. Also from the mask settings, increase the mask feather to 100. Now go to the effects panel and create a keyframe on position and making sure that the cursor is at the beginning of the layer. Then move 50 frames forward and move the text to the left until we get your desired year number. And doing this automatically will create another keyframe. After that I'll move one second forward and create the same keyframe. Then move 50 frames forward and move the text to the left again. Next select all keyframes, right click and ease in, then right click again and ease out. And to make the animation even smoother, I will open the position properties, select the first keyframe and drag the level to the right until we get that kind of peak. Also I will do exactly the same with the third keyframe as well. Now go down to Gaussian Blur and create a keyframe with value 0, which will match the position's properties first keyframe. Then I will create a second keyframe with value 120, which I will place in the middle. And change the blur dimension from horizontal and vertical to only horizontal. After that I'll create a third keyframe with value 0, which again will match with the position's properties second keyframe. And to create the second spin of this animation, I'll simply duplicate the first three keyframes. And like that my friend, you can create a timeline here animation in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.